Welcome, welcome, welcome to Talking Living with Christina Changwa Intimate Kitchen Edition. I'm sure you've liked, shared, and subscribed. <laughs> so we are making a creamy beef pasta. And I'm starting off with dicing half an onion into like big chunks. I like this meal specifically because there's load shedding here in the evening. So it's like a bit tedious. I can't use the microwave to warm food. So like the big relish doesn't really work. I got this like pre-diced um beef cubes from ShopRite and it's very convenient because you can eat the entire meal like out of one bowl which was the goal um yes yeah, so i started off with seasoning the beef with some steak and chop white pepper paprika and black pepper and another thing i enjoy doing at this stage is just like i think two teaspoons of soy sauce season mix it together set it aside because then we're going to like fry it so another tip i'll give is this part like just um that's just a beef stock that i'm going to mix with hot water that i'll pour within the pasta um yes so as you can see just a tablespoon of butter a bit of oil then just fry the beef until it's like brown or to whatever your preference will be um, my goal wasn't really to like overcook the food because I was going to set it aside. So that's just a mixture of garlic and um, ginger also from ShopRite. And then fry again to the level you're comfortable with. I knew I was going to heat it again in the evenings. So um, yeah, it depends on whether you're eating it immediately or you heat it, especially the pasta. So in the bowl where I mix the beef, I made sure to keep the juicy uh, spices. I put mix some water, hot water, tomato paste, and another one cube of beef stock. I use that hot water and beef stock as a replacement for broth because I can't purchase it in any stores here. Yeah, and I use Mr. Pasta. I've forgotten the name of this specific pasta. And like I said, it's looking brown because I also put beef stock in there for flavor because my goal with this thing was flavor i added some all gold tomato sauce for like to thicken it because i didn't like how my tomato paste wasn't enough i also added green chutney and uh, for the barbecue i chose mr sticky barbecue it makes that sticky sticky version which is what i wanted my pasta to be like so that's i think the last thing that i added and stirred 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 lastly um will be my daughter mixing it together and then from here i will pour in the milk i will pour in the cheese and then just let everything melt together like i said i was later on going to heat it i was just pre-cooking whilst the sun was still out because power had already cut here why i'm using milk i don't know for me it works conveniently also there's no heavy cream here <laughs> yeah very limited village so i use what i have that's gouda cheese and i used six slices it's the same cheese that i'll be using in the next um recipe that you will see so stir enough until it's like fully melted or like i said if you know you're going to be heating it again because this is like the a load shedding meal <laughs> um it's really up to your own preference also you can get the shredded version i use these ones because my husband my household don't really like cheese so this is the best way that i can sneak it in it's not that heavy um yeah so that's why i'm using this particular method you're free to use whatever you would like i would suggest following this one to the t because honestly this is the best in terms of flavor that i've tasted in a while i think the green chutney really helped bring the zinginess so at the end of everything you're going to see me add some rosemary i prefer to add it at the end just for you know again the goal was just flavor right yeah
So I need to put the meatballs first in here. For us, you did the whole making them from scratch. I don't got the time. I usually make them like pre shaped. They're still defrosting, as you can see, the juicy wetness. So all I'm going to do is just season them before I put them in the air fryer with some salt and some shofar spice. It's like my go-to for when I'm trying to do something with it. Now that they are done, on to the next stage, which is just like making the sauce, the sticky sauce. So that's just a diced onion. Um, I didn't even use butter for this one. I just used um, regular oil. And then the garlic and ginger mixture. I love this thing. I love it. It's, it's perfect. It's a perfect blend. Also from ShopRite, like I mentioned. Then I'll be using regular barbecue sauce and tomato sauce. For this one, um, I think it was like two tablespoons each, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, aside from, okay, yeah. I think I just used my uh, instincts in the barbecue sauce. A tablespoon of brown sugar. You can use the ground one. Again, here there was nothing on. You got it this month. And then some beef stock or any soup thickener you would like just to make. The idea is to make it juicy but thick where it's not like overrunning, right? Then you're going to put the meatballs in there and then just let them simmer, like let them become one. Let them marry. So others would let it drain even more, but I liked this, um, how thick it was and also how still juicy it was. That was my goal. Like I said, the rolls I have here are also not the, the best. Like I'm really working with what I could work with. And that's just regular gouda uh, cheese. I don't know how you pronounce it, that I <laughs> sliced alone. But you can, you know, do the grated version. Again, my peeps here don't like cheese as much. But I wasn't going to eat it without cheese. So there wasn't much to it. After I made the sauce, I just stuffed them in the uh, buns. I really couldn't see that that's how badly I placed the camera. So I'm so sorry. And after which, when everything was done, I just had them melt in the microwave. How's the food? Alright, thank you, madam. Alright. How is the food? 